Good day, good day everyone and once again we are back together uh, and of course I'm still helping you to prepare for your final exam, uh, the pa uh, paper 2 that is. Um, so if you haven't subscribed please just make sure that you are part of the family and once again thank goodness we are finally over that 100k mark and thank you so much to all of you that have subscribed. Um, yeah, so uh, I'm recording this in a car, so I hope that you won't mind. Perhaps there are other sounds that you might hear, uh, but that goes to show that uh, uh, your favorite uncle would stop at nothing to make sure that uh, he gives you good content. All right, so let's have a look at this question. Um, it's from a past exam question paper, but I forgot which one, uh, but uh, I'll actually do this in two parts. Okay, right, let's go right into it. Right, so they give us uh, in the diagram, right, we've got P, which is uh, X and 24, uh, is a point uh, such that OP is equals to 25, okay, and they say ROP is beta, uh, where beta is an obtuse angle. Right, now they say to us calculate uh, the value of X. Now, obviously, uh, in this case, we know that the distance there uh, would be 25, right, so in this case, we know uh, we can use Pythagoras, so the y value is 24, so uh, we can use Pythagoras in this case. Okay, maybe I might as well just do it over here. So we know that x squared plus y squared is equal to r squared, right? So in this case, we know that our x squared is, well, it's x squared, right? Uh, that's going to be r squared, uh, which is uh, 25, right? And uh, so the length of that line is 25. So that's going to be 25 squared minus 24 squared, which is the value of Y. Okay. And of course, to get the value of X, we'll take the square root. Um, obviously, the X value would be negative in that case. All right. So let's take that. That's going to be 25 uh, squared minus 24 squared. And that gives us 49. And of course, the square root of 49 would be 7. So x would be plus or minus 7. But in this particular case, we know that x is actually negative 7. So I'm just going to get rid of the minus there. I mean of the plus rather. So x is minus 7. Okay, so we know now that the x value is negative 7. Okay, right. So... Um, now, let's see the questions that they have for us there. Now, they say determine the value for each of the following without using a calculator. So, what we're going to do is uh, we're just going to make sure that um, we, we, we try as much as, as possible, right? Of course, to use the diagram that we have, okay? Right, so in this case, I know that we've got, um, we, we're trying to find sine of beta, uh, so we need to remind ourselves once again that the sine of beta, okay, I'm trying to write here. So the sine of beta uh, would be y over r. Uh, in this case, remember, we go to our diagram, our y value is 27, our r value, uh, sorry, our y value rather is 24, and our uh, r value is 25. So that would be 24 over 25 okay right so that's what they mean when they say don't use a calculator in that case um so that's uh, uh it actually that's 5.1.2 right and uh, the a part okay 5.1.2 and uh, that's the a part okay right now let's go on to b so they said find the cos of 180 minus beta so cos of 180 minus beta now again we're going to use our reduction formula so just uh, let's remind ourselves the cast principle or the cast diagram uh, cos of 180 minus that is uh, in this case uh, cos is negative right that's in the uh, second quadrant cos is negative so this is equal to uh, negative cos of beta right uh, remember that's in the second quadrant only sign is positive there so it means cos is negative so that would be negative 
right? Cos of beta in this case, remember that uh, cos is x over r. Or if you want to, you can say adjacent over hypotenuse, all right? So in this case, uh, we've got, um, that's negative. Our x value, remember, is negative 7. That's the one that we found. And our r value is 25. So we end up with 7 over 25. Okay, that's our, our final value. Right, and then uh, finally, we've got 10 of negative beta. Okay, so 10 of minus beta. Please remember, when you've got a negative angle, what you would normally do is uh, obviously you you add 360 to it so uh, if you don't understand reduction formula please just go into the longer format of the um, you know playlist that i uh, i produced on trig and you'll see that one of the lessons there have to do with that so in this case this would be 360 so i'm adding 360 minus beta so it means i've changed nothing remember uh, every uh, uh, trig ratio uh, repeats at every 360 degree cycle, right? So whether you add 360 or subtract 360, you still get the same solution. Okay, so 360 minus beta, that would be in the fourth quadrant. How is 10 uh, in the fourth quadrant? It's negative. So I'd have negative 10 of beta. Okay, so, but remember, in this case, how is 10 of beta? Um, uh, 10 of beta, that's going to be y, uh, over x right or you can say adjacent uh, i mean uh, opposite over adjacent right so in this case our y value uh, we said that was 24 right and our x value uh, is negative 7 so this would be equal to 24 so negative times a negative would be a positive so we end up with with uh, 24 over 27. Right, I'm going to just tackle the last question, which is 5.1.3. Very interesting question there. Right, so they say to us, uh, T is a point on OP, right, uh, such that OT is equal to uh, 15, right? So, uh, in this case, they say determine the coordinates of uh, T without the use of a calculator. So, in this case, I want you to note, if we were to try and make this a triangle, right? Right, so there we've got a triangle there. Now, um, what do I know? I know in this case that the length of OT, they said to me, that's 15, right? And um, what, am I, what am I trying to do? I'm trying to find the coordinates of T. It means I'm looking for both the X and the Y. Now, if I were to draw another line uh, there, a vertical line, okay? Uh, yeah, it's a very terrible vertical line, okay? Um, so if I were to draw another vertical line there, okay? Yeah, there. Right, so we try to uh, draw a vertical line. So I can use proportionality. Now, remember, I already know the value of x there, right? So in order for me to find the x value, now, please, I want you to listen carefully, right? I can say, look, I know uh, my hypotenuse, right? I can use proportionality. Remember, uh, in this case, uh, those would be uh, congruent triangles, Okay, so uh, if I were to give, let's say, uh, these points, let me call this point uh, Q, let me call this point R. So in those triangle, OQR and, uh, sorry, OPR and OTQ, okay, meaning the bigger triangle and the smaller triangle, now in this case are proportional because I've actually drawn two parallel lines there, right? So I can say, well, it means if they are parallel, right, notice, it means uh, if I take OT over OP, right, that would be equal to uh, OQ over OR, okay? I hope that makes sense. Um, right, so I'm going to say, okay, so I've got OT. Uh, over OP, so the smaller side, 
all right, of the smaller triangle over the side of the bigger triangle is equal to, now I'm taking the uh, smaller side of the other uh, uh, triangle, um, so that would be equal to OQ, so that's a smaller side, divided by the bigger side, okay? So that would be OQ over OR. So that would be OQ divided by OR, okay? So now I want you to note, we've got a value, right? Um, uh, OT, we were given there to be 15, and OP, remember, that's going to be the, uh, the R value, that was 25, right? is equal to OQ in this case. Um, so it's the value that we are looking for, the X value of the smaller triangle, right? So that would be OQ, uh, OQ rather, uh, divided by, so uh, the bigger triangle in this case, remember that's going to be the X value that we found and that was uh, seven units, okay? You can make it negative if you want to. Um, in this case, I'm just going to leave it as, as positive. I'm just going to uh, put the negative afterwards, right? And of course, uh, we're going to uh, try and multiply there. Uh, if you want to uh, simplify it for yourself, of course, 5 into itself uh, goes uh, 3 times. I mean, uh, five, uh, 15 rather. Uh, 5 into 15 goes 3 times. And into 25, it goes uh, 5 times. And of course, you can use that there. Okay, so uh, OQ, um, OQ multiplied by 5. So if we cross multiply, it's going to be 5 OQ is equal to 7, uh, 3 times 7. That would be uh, 21. So it means that OQ would be equal to um, 21 over 5. So it means I'm going to divide by 5 on both sides, right? All right, and so that would be the value. But of course, we know that uh, uh, in this case, it would end up being a negative answer, right? Uh, because it's in the negative x region. And of course, what you're going to do is you're going to do exactly the same thing uh, to get the y value, right? Where we are going to say, okay, so the smaller side divided by the bigger side. So in this case, again, I'm going to take OT over OP would be equal to, uh, you'll realize I'm, I'm, I'm using ratio and proportion in this case. Uh, the proportionality theorem uh, is equal to uh, TQ, okay, which is this side divided by the bigger side. So that would be TQ over... Uh, the bigger side, which is the y value of the bigger triangle, uh, which is 24, right? Uh, so that would be 24. And of course, once again, um, so this is going to be 15 uh, over 25 is equal to TQ uh, over 24. I'm sure you, you've got the gist of this by now. Okay, uh, sorry that I'm, I'm going to have to just jump into the other side. Okay, so I'm just going to try and finish it over this. Uh, so this would be, again, uh, that's 3 over 5, which would be TQ over 24. Okay, and of course, we're going to try and uh, get this um, uh, 24 multiplied. Okay, let's say 5 times TQ, that would be 5 TQ. Uh, right, and 24 multiplied by 3. Uh, in this case, that would give me 72. And of course, divide that by 5. So that would mean that TQ is equal to 72 over 5. And that would be a positive value. Okay. So in this case, it means that the point T, okay, would actually be, um, uh, so that's negative 21 over 5 as well as um, 72 over 5. Now, I don't know if you can simplify that further, but uh, I'm going to leave it in that form. I hope that makes sense, ladies and gents. Uh, that is how you would go about that question. All right, so I'll finish the rest of this section uh, in the next video. 
which has to do obviously with uh, uh, you know uh, solving for trig expressions and finding the general solutions all right see you in the next video shop shop